My fellow Guyanese, good morning, wherever you may be. This is Gabriel Lal on the National Outlook. Thank you for joining, and especially to those Guyanese brothers and sisters who reside in the United States and are celebrating Labor Day, one of those rare holidays in the United States today. Again, thank you for joining us. Have a happy and a healthy holiday. Okay, for the next several days, the intention is to speak to you about oil. And we start with a caption from Saturday in Kaicho News, Payara FPSO on the construction, <clears throat> excuse me, without government approval. And what, what is this? As we talk about oil, is this a partnership or is this a dictatorship? A dictatorship where Exxon dictates to us exactly where it's going, how it's going to go about things, and where we stand. In other words, we have no say. We just keep going and following with them taking the lead. So, because here it is, I know there's all this business about forward planning, and certainly that's at work here. That's at work here. We're a, a vessel, a, it's called an FBSO, floating it production, all storage, and we may not be able to agree on vessel. Them. But is under able construction to a in number Singapore, them, especially the thorny ones. We know is every guy costs, who, who is legal, watching this oil of ours, as we all know, the relevance of there has been some hiccups, and that's a pretty low-keyed word to say what's going on with Payara. Good day for English. Let's look at the verb agreements. On hold, pending review. If this is, this is not a two-way street. The new government has started this out well not a by putting street. a hold to this thing this, because of this is so where certain outsiders concerns. Since then, all hell has broken loose, and, uh, and looking down their noses we have at us, one problem after the other, take we are being shoveled stonewalled, us, we are being insulted, we are being bullied, us. and then we are I being menaced. That's wrong. And I'm putting up on so the table before all of us. I, I, we would have thought we must stand that up. We must all if this was a real partnership, news, our pen, a partnership of equals, and to say, and we're not talking look, money here, enough but a partnership of, nonsense, of equals, equal enough respect, of foolishness, equal regard, equal understanding of what Exxon each of us brings to the table. Is, we bring our oil to the table, and the people of Exxon, the company Exxon, brings its facilities, its technologies, its money, its billion, many billions in investment, for which we are appreciative because we do not have what it takes to get it out from under the ground and from an offshore facility to boot. But here is Exxon, like I said, forward with all due appreciation for forward planning, not putting a pause on anything with regards to this vessel under construction in Singapore. Why should this be so and how should this be so is are beyond me and should be beyond all of us. Because you would want to think that there is consult consultation, that there is communication, that the government should have known, our, our government should have known that, look, this is where things stand. This is where we're going to go. We have made some commitments, that we being Exxon, and we've got to move along. We've got to move along because we are optimistic that we will be able to manage to come to, to narrow our differences. We may not be able to fix all of them. We may not be able to agree on all of them, but we'll be able to resolve a number of them, especially the thornier ones, with about costs, legal, auditing, environmental, about the relevance of them, the significance of them, or in Exxon and Guyana's case, the, the insignificance of them, the insulting nature of them. So the point being, if this is, this is not a two-way street. This is not a two-way street. This, this is where outsiders are talking down to us and, and looking down their noses at us whilst we have to take whatever is shoveled at us. 
whatever is shoveled at us and dumped on us. And I think that that's wrong. And I'm putting it up on the table before all of us. We must stand up. We must all add our voices to Kaishore News, our pen to Kaishore News, and to say, look, enough of this nonsense, enough of this foolishness, enough of this retarded behavior, and that is what Exxon is, has been guilty of doing over and over with a total lack of respect for our leaders, old and new, and for the people of Guyana, all of the people of Guyana, and that includes me and you. And I don't like it, and you should not like it. And we should say that this confounded nonsense has got to stop. The message must be loud and clear. The messages must be voluminous. The messages must be constant. And they must come from all of us. They must not come from these lone voices, Christopher Ram and others, and me. But they should say, Exxon, enough. Stop. Deal with us as you would deal with any other person. And that's going to be the next thing that we talk about tomorrow as we look at Scotland and and versus Guyana. Thank you for joining us. Until the next time, this is Gabriel Lau saying, do have a wonderful day.